Jamaican playwright Barry Record was one of the first writers from the Caribbean who came to Britain to shape the face of modern theatre there. Born in 1926 in Kingston, the capital of Jamaica, Barrington Record was a gifted student at school and in 1950 he sailed to Britain to read English at Emmanuel College at Cambridge University, graduating in 1953. His talent for writing was clear early on. As an undergraduate, he was already writing his first plays. Record produced his main body of work across the decades of the 50s to the 80s, on stage and also radio and television. His plays were critically and commercially successful, and their themes of race, class and sex challenged society's views. During his time in Britain, Record had more plays produced than any other black playwright of the time, with sharply titled plays like Flesh to a Tiger, You in a Small Corner, Skyvers, X, Don't Cast the Blacks, his equally talented younger brother, Lloyd Record, an actor and director, was a frequent collaborator. Record spearheaded a visionary wave of black playwrights that included Errol John and Nobel Prize winner Wale Shoyinka. They not only confidently explored black identity on the mainstream stage, but were also part of a merging new wave of social activists like writer Alan Silito and director Ken Loach, both white, who wanted to give a voice to the underclasses of Britain. Record had worked as a teacher in Britain, Jamaica and Canada, and it was his experience in London inner city comprehensive school system that provided the material for Skybers, which was first staged at the Royal Court Theatre in 1963 with an all-white cast. This gritty classroom drama is a no hold barred depiction of failed working class youth that has been hailed as one of the key plays of the 1960s. Record understood that his life in Britain gave him the ability to use his experience of the other as a black man in a white society to throw a mirror up to Britain's class ridden society in a way that no white British playwright was able to do. Most of Record's other plays had a Jamaican setting. Plays like White Witch and A Liberated Woman actively explore black post-colonial identity through historically provocative drama and bitingly observed humour. After World War II, from the late 40s onwards, migration to Britain from the Caribbean and Africa helped build the foundation of today's black British theatre. Working against widespread political and social inequality and discrimination, pioneering London-based black playwrights like Record, Errol John from Trinidad and Tobago, and Wally Shayunka from Nigeria brought challenging new voices to Britain's stages. At the same time, activists like Pearl Connor Mogotse, also from Trinidad and Tobago, campaigned for equal rights and recognition for black performers in Britain. In 1956, she founded the influential Edric Connor Agency with her husband, Edric, to represent black actors, dancers, writers and musicians. Record had a close association with the Royal Court Theatre. Set in the heart of London, it was one of the first theatres to provide a national platform for black playwrights, which it continues to do to this day. It regularly came into conflict with the government by staging plays that challenged the artistic, social and political orthodoxy of the day, pushing back the boundaries of what was possible or acceptable. Record is thought to be the first black Briton to have had a play produced at the theatre with Flesh to a Tiger in 1958. It was directed by white director Tony Richardson and starred the jazz singer Cleo Lane in her first theatre role among a cast that reads like a who's who of black British theatre, including Lloyd Record, Nadia Katoos, Pearl Prescott, Tamba Allen and Johnny Secker. Record also wrote for radio and TV. In 1961, the Royal Court staged Record's drama You In Your Small Corner which transferred to the small screen for ITV's Play of the Week series in 1962. The play showed one of the first interracial kisses on British television between Lloyd Record and Elizabeth McLennan in the story of a relationship between a young middle-class West Indian and his white working-class girlfriend. Record also published a book, Does Fidel Eat More Than Your Father? which documents the conversation he had on a trip to Cuba in the early 70s to discover if the communist revolution under leader Fidel Castro had really ended colonial conditions and mentalities on this Caribbean island. The importance of Record's legacy is recognised in Britain and Jamaica and yet only three of his plays are available in print, Flesh to a Tiger, White Witch and Skyvers. Equal Stages Digital Theatre Audios has recorded an excerpt from Skyvers, directed by Aisha Casely Hayford. 
Skyvers is a revealing introduction to Record's concept of authentic theatre through its portrayal of a working class Britain that still exists and still needs to be discussed on our stages. The result is an insight into this modern classic from the pen of one of the Caribbean and Britain's truly great playwrights.